Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. I've got a video today about on one sidecar files and what you need to know about if you're turning them on kind of midstream into your workflow. Real quick, if you are enjoying the content on the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that little button down there, subscribe, let me know that you're enjoying the videos and I'd really appreciate it. So let me show you what we have here. Let me set the stage for you. So what I've got here is on the right hand side, this folder just called photos out of my desktop. It's got a couple of photos in it and I'm looking at the same folder over here in on one. Now I've done some treatment on this photo and I've done basically nothing to this other photo here. Notice that all we see are just the raw images. We do not see any of the treatments out on the uh, file system, out in the finder, the explorer. We expect that only on one understands those. Now there's this feature called sidecar files. The reason I like using sidecar files, I think it's the thing you should turn on immediately when you start using on one, is it will put a extra little file next to your photo that contains all of your non-destructive changes, all of your metadata, all of your edits get put in that sidecar file. So if I go move this folder here, if I go over here and grab this photos folder and drag it somewhere else, it will take the photos and the metadata with it. That's what's powerful about a sidecar file. Well, to turn them on, you've got to go into the preferences, and in this files area, there's save on one sidecar files. And when I click OK, I'm now told on one from this point forward, any changes that I make, save those into sidecar files. Now, how do these sidecar files work? Well, let's go ahead and choose this photo here. And let me open up, uh, we'll just add a, uh, a quick. Uh, I'll just click something obvious so we see a change. Now you notice on the right hand side immediately this other file showed up with this dot on one extension. That is the sidecar file. I do not see that in browse. Browse understands what that file is and says you don't need to see it. It's not a photo but I understand what it is and I'm going to use that data <laughs> to apply these settings here. And the same holds true for metadata. Now if I go into this photo here, let's open up our metadata pane and let's just say I add my name. You'll notice two different files showed up, an XMP file and a dot on one file. The XMP file is holding metadata and it's done in a format that other programs can read like Lightroom. The on one sidecar file also has that metadata and it also has the non-destructive changes. Now a key thing here, I had to go and make a change for these sidecar files to show up. When I click that box in the preferences, remember that box up here where it says save on one sidecar files for non-destructive edits and metadata. As soon as I turn that on it's saying from this point forward save sidecar files, create them for me. If you have a collection of photos that do not have sidecar files, the only way to get them to show up is to make a change. And what I advise for that is selecting all the photos that are in your folder, your collection, your library, your album, what it might be. Go into the metadata, find an IPTC field that you don't use, like, I don't know, John or a scene subcode and just write, I'm going to just say like sidecar, you know, and it will say, hey, do you want to change this on all the photos? I'll say, sure. You'll notice a couple of things there. Because I made a metadata change, I got a new sidecar file for that first photo I hadn't changed any metadata for. Uh, and there was a refresh. There was an update to the other sidecar files. So that's a uh, kind of a nice, subtle, easy way to nudge each photo in your on one catalog to get a sidecar file because once you have those in place it sets you up to be able to move all of these photos with their sidecar files to another hard drive to another computer anywhere and your edits and metadata will follow your photos so if i go and i take this photos folder and i drag it somewhere else because all of those sidecar files are in there they go along with the photos and everything stays consistent. I'll show that process in a different video, but this is just about the sidecar files. Hope this explains it for you and you understand that turning on the sidecar option is thing number one. And if you've got other photos that you have done work on, 
before turning that option on, go back and just touch them all. And I like to do that through uh, you know, an, an esoteric or buried IPTC field that I don't use for any other purposes. Hope you found this useful. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.